Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a few specific curriculum review videos um, going into some of the subjects that we use for this 2016-2017 school year with my first grade daughter and my transitional kindergarten daughter. Um, so this video is going to be about, about the science program that we used for this year. We used Sunlight's Science A, which went over biology, botany, and physics. And I just wanted to let you be able to see what was included in the science program to see what came with what I purchased from Sunlight, give you an inside glimpse into it in case it's something that you are interested in, and then also give you my thoughts on it, um, how we liked it, if there's anything we didn't like about it, and um, whether or not we would continue using Sunlight's programs in the future. So let's get started. So this is everything that you will receive in the Sunlight Science A um, kit if you were to order the whole thing. And I'm going to break it down and let you see what each thing looks like. First I wanted to show you inside the instructor's guide. This is not how the instructor's guide comes. Um, I actually didn't even have it like this for the entire school year, but I wish I had. I had it in a three ring binder, which is how it is intended to be. Um, but someone talked about doing this in another video that I watched, and I was like, wow, that's a really great idea. Why didn't I do that? Because I do spiral binding for almost everything else. So I wish I had done that, and in the future I will. Um, so this is your teacher's manual. You have your table of contents. And then an introduction, just kind of telling you, um, just for you to read and give you an idea. This is um, where they talk about evolution, the age of the earth, kind of giving you notes and pointers um, as a parent on how to talk about that with your children. And I'll talk about that a little bit more um, at the end. Um, talks about your student activity sheets. Um, and then if you wanted to grow, um, watch caterpillars grow into ladybugs, this is how you would do that, or places you could get that. Then the next section is your schedule, notes, and activity sheets. So this is the um, meat of your instructor's guide. It's going to be after section two here. And then it gives you tips on how to use your instructor's guide. And then week by week, they have um, a table like this telling you what to do every single day. Now we purchased the five-day schedule um, for the program. You could purchase the four-day schedule. In this level, the only difference that I believe there is between the two schedules is that you get additional books, and I will show you which ones those are, and that is what you are reading on your day five. So we actually school four days a week. We don't do the fifth day, but it was really easy for, but I wanted the extra books is what I should say. I wanted the extra books that came along with it because they looked really good. They're Esborn books, and I love Esborn books. So I went ahead and did the five day. And then we just incorporated that fifth day into another day. I will also say that it was very easy for us to combine days if we only wanted to do science two or three days during the week. And I did that often. Um, it was nice little bite-sized chunks to do each day of the week. Or you can um, bump it up and do two or three days worth in a single day. And that way you have time for other subjects if other subjects are taking a little bit longer during that week. So it was nice flexibility um, that I, I felt like this gave you. Um, so here it would tell you on each day what you would read out of which book and the activity sheets that um, the questions that you would be answering. Um, and then if there are additional books, you would be doing that here. If you sh are to watch a a clip on their DVD that it comes with. Um, they tell you that. They always had typically an optional activity to do. We didn't do very many of these, but they were um, interesting. And then also um, the pages in your um, science experiment activity book to read, and those typically went together, the DVD as well as the, um, book, the science experiment book. Then if you needed to provide any supplies for your science experiment for the week um, or your activities, they would list it down here. And then for the following week, they would also list that down below so you could be prepared for the next week. And often these are things that you would normally just have around the house. If it wasn't something that you would typically regularly have around the house, it came in your consumable experiment kit. And I will show you that in a little bit. So that was your 
um, lesson plans. So this really was an open and go type of curriculum unless there were supplies you needed to get that you didn't have on hand, which was really nice and I really appreciated that. Then after that, you would have a detailed out um, things to talk about with your kids. They would give you um, prompts on what to say and what to talk about with your kids. If there were questions you could ask them, how to help, kind of help you lead a conversation if you needed that type of help. Um, sometimes it was stuff that you would read and then summarize to say with your kids. Um, it again tells you what you should be reading um, and the activity questions that you should be answering. So this was more of an overview of your week and then this you could just come to and do day by day and you would still have the information so you weren't flipping back and forth. Um, so that and then at the last page here they would have um, a miniature version of the activity sheets um, that your students are going to have and these have the answers on them so it was right there. Normally you would then have your students activity sheets right after that week's worth of lessons but I took those out and kept them separately um, and so this is only the lesson plans. And each week was very similar and so I just want to show you a few of them just so you can get an idea of what they look like. So it's pretty much the same setup throughout the whole thing and it is a 36 week program. Then at the very end they do have like a little certificate of completion which we didn't really use but um, if you are into that type of thing they do provide one for you. And then in the very back they have their appendices. Sorry if the table just moved. Um, I have a child crawling around down there. Um, and so you just things that you can reference on your book list and then science supplies what you should have received in your um, kit and then also the subjects that you're talking about each day for the five day and four day program and that is it. Now these are the student activity sheets that I said normally are in between um, each of the weekly lessons but I did keep these in a three ring binder just so that for ease of use and removing them. Um, so these are what the activity sheets look like. There are some cutout activities and for these portions of the activity sheets, you find those I believe in one of the, yeah it's appendix four, so that would be in the back and I just put them in the back of my activity sheet binder. Um, so you just have these to cut out, so I would just cut out the strip that we needed and hand those to my child with the activity sheet that they were using. So there are a number of them that they're going to be cutting and pasting. Um, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse into some of the activity sheets just so you can see the different variety of types of questions they'll be answering. So some are writing and we didn't all, I didn't always make my children write. Um, sometimes we would just verbally talk about them and I'd have them check it off that we had verbally talked about these. Others are finding the true statement, um, some matching. You already saw the cutting and pasting like this again as well. So like I said, there's just a variety of um, things to do on the activity sheets and we enjoyed that because of the variety and it was applicable to what we were learning in our spine. Speaking of our spine, and I totally forgot to have this on the overview when I had all the materials laid out here. This is the spine that comes included with your Science A curriculum. Sorry, just ran up the stairs from getting this. Um, so this is what we, almost everything was based on. And you read out of this almost every single day. Almost. This was a great book. We really enjoyed it and we loved the fact that it came with the QR links. So I would let my kids scan them and get to um, follow the link to a fun video typically giving us more information on whatever it was we were learning. So it just had a great variety of information in here and we used almost all of it. It was, the pictures are wonderful, the explanations are great, Gr again bite-sized chunks that gave you good information um, that was manageable and you retained a lot of the information but I mean the pictures just really make it. It's so vivid and engaging but not overwhelming and I really enjoy that about this because sometimes the pages like this can be overwhelming 
and I didn't find that to be true for this one. So I just want to give you kind of a glimpse at the different types of things you would see. Um, I mean, it's pretty incredible. And we really enjoyed um, reading through this book and all the different things it had. So, I mean, look at that. It's pretty cool. So this was the main book that we used throughout the curriculum. These are the supplemental books that were used throughout the curriculum. These were typically what was read on um, the fifth day. If you were to get the four-day program, these are the three books that you would get as supplemental to the spine. If you were to get the five-day program, these four are additional books that you would get to read on that fifth day. And to me, it was totally worth it. Um, these books are just they're great. They're so well done. I get they're very similar to that encyclopedia with amazing pictures. So these books are just filled with these beautiful pictures, bite-sized bits of information. And the way that sunlight divides these up is to really re just read a couple pages each week that they have it assigned. We, on the other hand, did not stick to that schedule. We, um, ended up reading the whole book in one sitting, and that's because my kids wanted to. And so that is one way that we adjusted the five-day schedule to a four-day schedule for us, um, because we just read these in a sitting, and then that was that day of the week was already taken care of for a number of weeks um, in the future. And I just feel like it had good, interesting information that was you were able to remember and recall easily, and it's I don't know. I just can't say enough good things about the Esborn books. So, like I said, to me, the extra books for the five-day program is totally worth it. I, I really enjoyed these. This book was the only one that was different. It's more of a graphic book, so it's like in a comic book style. I don't care for these as much myself. I think my kids enjoyed it well enough. It was an interesting story about Isaac Newton and just his discoveries and how it definitely pointed out how hard he worked um, and had perseverance and didn't give up um, on his theories. Um, so it was definitely interesting. It was just reading this aloud to a child um, because you have to keep differentiating who is doing the talking. Um, so that part's a little confusing. So I think that's one reason why I don't enjoy reading these to my children nearly as much. Um, I think these are better suited for someone who can actually read it themselves. But I mean, it was full of good information. The illustrations were nice. Um, but whether it was one I would have picked up on my own, probably not. Next, I wanna show you the um, science uh, experiment portion of the science program. Um, so it comes with this Inquisit Kids DVD that you can either watch before you do the science experiments to see what is supposed to happen, or they say that you can watch it afterwards and see if your experiment, your results from your experiment matched up with what they had done. So they actually show you how to do the experiment, or if you're lazy, um, well not lazy, maybe just busy, um, Instead of doing the experiment yourself, you can watch them do it. So you have options with this. So it, it's not like super high professionally done, um, but it was definitely interesting. They talk in um, on level with your children. Um, so we did enjoy this. This is the book that comes with it that explains the science experiments to you. Another Esborne book. Can you see a theme here? So it had a number of different experiments on each page of the book. We did not get to the majority of these experiments, although they are easy to do. Um, they do supply the materials for you for the most part if there's something that you know you can't easily get, and I will show you that in a minute. But um, we just, we kind of ran out of time and I was losing steam. So our goal is to do these over the summer. So I can't say much to the majority of the mis experiments, but we did do some of them, and the ones we did do, my kids enjoyed and really looked forward to them. So I know they're going to enjoy doing them this summer. Um, and I felt like it—it um, it was a very good introductory science experiment book. So they give you lots of notes, lots of pictures, and ideas. Some of them were a little hard. We did something with seeds and a glass and plants, and 
the understanding exactly how you wanted to position the, it was actually beans, how to position the beans in the gar jar between the jar and the wet paper towel was a little confusing and getting it to work just right, but it did work. It ended up working. Um, so that was fun um, that we finally got it to work. So I feel like things were fairly well explained in this book. Then lastly, you get one of these boxes, although when I purchased this in 2015, we actually got two boxes, and I will talk about that more in a little bit. So you get your consumable science experiment items in these boxes. So this is going to include anything that you can't readily find in your home, um, most likely. And you'll see that we have a lot of the items still because again, we didn't get around to them. These are those beans I was talking about that you put in the jar between a paper towel. Um, so they have like little cups for planting. These are almost like little charcoal pieces, wonder soil. Um, I don't even remember what the ping pong ball was for, but um, like a coffee filter. So just in case some sugar cubes and toothpicks, calcium powder. I mean, I definitely would not have that in my house. This is not labeled, so I'm not sure exactly what that is. And just so just a whole variety of things. Oh, and here it actually tells you what would be in your kit or should be in your pet kit um, and how many. So it lets you know all of this. Now, um, like I said, I bought this in 2015, and at that time, um, they had two different kits. One was for consumables, and one was for non-consumables, and this is the non-consumable, or the one that's gonna carry you through all of your science levels um, throughout your time with sunlight. So they had other things that would not necessarily be used for this core, it would be used for a future core, but they already give it to you now, um, so you have it on hand. Um, this was some modeling clay, we did end up using this, so I'm assuming use this again um, in a future um, experiment in another core. We use that when we were making a weather vane. They have some really strong magnets here, a thermometer, pa um, clothespins, some corks, paper clips. I mean, some of this stuff I definitely always have around the house, um, but this is uh, a spool for thread, um, things that you may or may not have had. So they really do provide you with a number of things that um, you, you would need and that way you're not searching all over your house for things or having to go out to the store to, or online to try to buy that one odd item that you're gonna need for the science experiment. So they really do set you up well for success with this program and that is definitely something that I appreciate about it. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to see what is included in the package and all that you get with it, um, I just wanna let you know that we absolutely love this program. I thought the spiral, um, learning style was perfect for us and for learning science. I felt like we and my daughters especially, especially my first grade daughter, um, retained, learned and retained a lot of good information. I just felt like everything was presented in just the right amount of information to really whet your appetite, make you feel like you learned something of worth and value and then you moved on to the next topic. And I really enjoyed that with this because it wasn't overwhelming, but like I said, you felt like you were learning something at the same time. So we really enjoyed it. Um, and we are planning to continue with, I can't say with sunlight next year for their science program. We are actually going to be switching over to Bookshark, um, sunlight and Bookshark, if you aren't familiar. I don't know exactly how they're paired together, if they have just the same parent company or if Bookshark is an extension of sunlight, but they are, for the most part, the same program. Sunlight is the faith-based um, versions of everything, and Bookshark is the faith-neutral or secular versions of everything. So they're both literature-based, they're both coming from the same sources, um, but because Bookshark is faith-neutral, my charter school that we are a part of will actually pay for the curriculum for us.
and since it is a little pricey and I'll go over that in a minute um, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that the downside to it is that if you were looking to have God and Christ incorporated into the curriculum um, I'm not going to be getting that with the Bookshark program because it has been removed from it whereas in sunlight they were pointing things back to creation although they do they don't leave out evolution in the program. They just allow you to be able to present it to your child in the manner that you see fit. So they aren't pushing one over the other necessarily, but they do have a note in there that talks to the parent about it and suggestions on ways you can handle that with your child, which I appreciated. I appreciated that they weren't pushing one um, over the other and that they were leaving it more up to the parent's discretion as to how to approach that topic with your, ch your children. So, um, but I figured with science, I can incorporate God into um, the curriculum and in just our everyday talk. And so I didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary for the curriculum to do that for me. So I thought, well, this would be a good resource, uh, use of our resources through the school because we get a set allotment of money to be able to spend on curriculum as long as it's not on um faith-based materials and going towards one of the core subjects and this qualifies for that. So I would say yes we are using sunlight again next year for science but we're actually going to be going through Bookshark but it is practically the same thing um, just with those differences. Um, the other difference is sunlight you have the option of either a five-day or four-day program whereas with Bookshark you have only the four-day option. Um, which is fine with me because we are schooling four days a week because my children are going to elective classes at our charter school one day a week. So it works perfectly for us, um, even without the option. Okay, so now price. Like I said, it is pricey. When we purchased this program, it was actually two years ago, and we just didn't use it until this current year. So at that time, for everything that you saw, and that was the five-day program, I we paid $174.83. Now that is different, I realized, than the prices that they currently have on their website, and I noticed there were a few changes. There are a couple of price changes on a couple of their books that were slightly increased, but not by much. But the biggest difference that I noticed was that my curriculum came with, as you saw, a non-consumable science kit and then a consumable science kit. And they don't have that designation anymore on the website. They have it all as one consumable box and the price for that box doubled from what I had paid for it. So I had paid $13, I believe, for the non-consumable, no, for the consumable portion. And then um, now it's $24 or $25 for the consumable portion. So my thought process, and you could call and talk to Sunlight to double check on this, is that instead of sending out the two separate boxes, the non-consumable and the consumable, they've just combined it all and just given you what you absolutely need for that core for that year. Whereas before, the non-consumable portions were what were going to last you year after year after year, and then they would just supplement it with that consumable portion for that specific year. So it looks like that it has been a change in it. So for now, for Science A on the Sunlight website, if you were getting the five-day program, you would be paying $143. Now this does not include that Osborne's internet-linked children's encyclopedia. That is an additional $15.99. However, I have already purchased that, and since it's on my account that I've already purchased, purchased it, it anytime I go on the website, it actually will tell me that, that I've already purchased, it shows that I've already purchased this product so it's not making me repurchase it again. So that is something that is gonna get used over and over again throughout the courses. So um, so that 143 plus the 15.99. Um, and then, let's see here. If you wanted the four day one, it's $123.04 plus the 15.99. Um, and the difference in those two costs is exactly the difference of those additional um, Usborne books, four Usborne books at $4.99 each. If you were to take that price, add it to the four-day program, you get the cost of the five-day program. So it really is just those books that it's the additional cost. Um, and then if you want an additional set of worksheets, that's $13.99 for each additional set. Um, I just made photocopies of mine. 
I'm assuming that was okay because it's for personal use. I'm not giving it out to others, um, but it, that is what I happen to do. Again, since our school is paying for the um, program for us for this next year, I went ahead and had them order an additional set of worksheets for us to be able to use with the program so I don't have to make copies. So it is a little pricey, but the majority of the items, except for those worksheets and the consumable parts of the science experiments, can be reused for future kids. So I'm really excited about that. The books are so, such good quality and with good information and we really enjoyed the program. So I highly recommend this. Um, like I said, it was just the right amount for us to get our feet wet with science in these areas and to really enjoy it. And I've never been one to enjoy science until right now. Um, it's just always kind of been dry and just fact memorization. But I feel like I learned facts in a fun and interesting way, and I feel like my kids did that as well. So um, I do recommend this program. If you have any questions about the program, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I actually really enjoy talking about um, their science curriculum because I enjoyed it so much, so I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I Again, I hope this video was helpful for you in case you were interested in looking into this program, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.